Hey friends, so another a time for another one of these card talks because I feel um, specifically shitty today for some unbeknownst reason to my awareness. Number one, I didn't get enough sleep, so always get enough sleep because if you don't wake up at the end of your REM cycle, then you're not going to have a good day, so that's number one. Number two something okay i've been trying to like look into my future and all that stuff more um career wise and education wise i'm nearly about to transfer out of the school that i'm at right now this community college and so i said okay let's look at my options um i've already taken a shit ton of classes here um and i wanted to see w where it would transfer over in terms of like out of state schools because i know that for for in-state schools, there's assist.org, which is totally cool. But I was like, I, I don't know, something inside me doesn't doesn't want to stay in LA at least. Like, it, I I don't want to stay here because it's I don't know. I just have this strong opposition to staying here further for my education. Uh, I don't know. I'm running away from something, and it's something psychological that I don't want to accept right now, probably. And I'm not ready to say it. I think, I don't know, you know, sometimes like you just know, but you don't want to say it, but you don't actually know, but you do know. I am crazy. Anyways, I was trying to see something out of state that I could go to. And there's this website called Transfer, Transfer Fly or something like that. Transfer, I don't know. Basically, you put in all your courses that you've taken at a school and it's really good actually. Like it tells you if they transfer over like what are your options what percentage of classes transfer over to any out-of-state school now I don't know what their base of out-of-state schools is so there might be a school that I want to transfer to in terms of like music or something but that I'm not aware of because it might not be in their system or something so um, but I did get a bunch a bunch of good schools and I'm actually like 30 per 30 ish percent transferable to UCLA which is cool um, so uh, I looked at that and then I ran I just googled like best music conservatories or schools in in the US and um, and I did find one school I found that was like a top 15 list and the first school I was like oh it's so cool because you can pursue a double degree uh, over five years uh, if you're not transferring so it's like um, you do music degree and some kind of arts and sciences degree like liberal arts and I was like yes but I don't know like just looking up the transferable courses in all the schools that accept my uh, courses that I've taken just really depressed me made me depressed because I was like well shit like these I have never even heard of these schools so like what do they have to offer me you know and then at the same time I was like how am I even gonna go about finding a school cuz what I'm what I'm looking for is I want a good teacher and like I want an instructor or like a private instructor that I can really learn from and maybe even like oh, that I can um, relate to like for a long time you know because I'm gonna be there if I go to school I'm gonna go there a long time so that was a factor and I haven't been able to really I don't know go about looking for that I mean I guess I'm gonna have to wait until I apply so so there's that um but also it's like I don't know it's so weird. I've never done this before, and it's all so new to me, and it's also... It's also scary, and I'm just, like, really scared right now, because I'm just like, what is my future gonna be like? Who am I gonna meet? Who am I gonna live with? What is my life gonna be like? And I, it all just, like, literally came crashing down on me all at once, and I don't know how to deal with it. Um, so I'm just talking, and I'm... I don't know. Why are humans so complicated? I'm not coming out, sir. Anyways, um, so that's been on my mind right now. And also, um, the guy I talked about in the last video, 
is still getting to me and I hate it because it's like it's ruining my f okay shit it's ruining my fucking life and I hate it because it's like all I can think about is this guy okay, so this is the thing that I'm that, that happens to me <sighs> despite this guy going back to his school in um, the Bay Area I have this stupid thought that like I'm gonna because I take this shuttle in, at my school from like a small camp satellite campus to the main campus and I don't know why but every time I take the shuttle when people come off um, on board the shuttle I always uh, expect him to come out like I feel like he's gonna come out and be like surprise is that weird I don't know it's it's actually something that's been happening throughout my whole life I've, I've discovered because if something if someone leaves my life I always I've always expected them well I don't expect them but like my my mind just kind of expects them to come back you know, it's like this false expectation slash comfort that my mind has for me. Like, every time, like, just that hope that everything might come back to normal or, like, we might be able to continue whatever we had or whatever. Um, but it's unrealistic, you know? It's like, it only happens in movies. My brain is a movie brain, you guys. Like, it only thinks in terms of fucking B-list chick flicks. Like the airport uh, cliche, you know, like when someone's leaving and you're like, no, you have to stay. And then you run to the airport and they're like about to check their ticket out and board the plane. And you're like, no, you have to stay. And she's like, OK. And then like fall in love, like, in, I mean, fall into each other's arms or whatever. And that's my brain for you. Uh, this is ruining my voice. I don't know how to talk very passionately for a long time. So all of this is just going through my mind right now, and I have no one, my friends, I have literally, like, no close friends right now at school that I'm with all the time, so it's kind of really, really, really hard to go out through the day and have these thoughts pop into my mind and not be able to talk to someone about them and just live with them throughout my whole day and just, I feel really shitty. Like, I actually feel like punching someone in the face or, like, being really mean to someone. And I'm pretty sure I've come up that way. When when I'm, like, tired and and really anxious or just thinking about stuff, I get really mean. I have this stank face. I'm just like... <sighs> this helped, though. This really helped. Oh. God. I'm gonna lose it. No, I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna find my happiness. Because you can't wait for anyone to find your happiness. You have to find it for yourself. And it has to be healthy. Because addiction is a bitch. And I know that all too well. And that's why I haven't... Well... I mean, like, cross my fingers that I haven't fallen into it. But it's so... I, I, it's just scary that it's such a possibility. Because you know how, like, it runs in your genes or your in your blood or whatever, like, addiction to certain substances? I don't know, like... The, few, the very few substances that I have tried aren't attractive to me like that, so... I guess I haven't been stimulated like other people might be, so I don't know. I might have a non-addictive brain. I'm just crazy. I just feel everything. I just have so many emotions. So I'm just doomed. Doom, 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 doom. Anyways, this has been enough of hearing me talk. There's a lot of people passing by, and sometimes it makes me uncomfortable because I think that they think that I'm talking to myself but in fact I'm making a video that I'm gonna to post to YouTube and become famous with hopefully that is not the goal though the goal is to get the message out oh, now I know what Katie Heron said meant when she said word vomit now I know 
anyways thanks for listening and no one's gonna, i hope no one watches this video but have a nice day be happy find your happiness live life to the fullest love yourself and those around you and just let go because life happens when you let go okay bye now for real though